Welcome back to Risque Business News. I'm your host, Laura. And I'm May. And today we are talking about Mr. Beast. You've probably heard he's in some hot water right now for some scandals. We're going to chat a little bit about that. And I also want to briefly talk about something else that is going on. Um, Very briefly, though, because I have like no information on it. So (laughs) (laughs) what a mystery. What a mystery. (laughs) Tune in to find out. Yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Where's the money? I don't, I don't understand how you make money Hold on. from that. Though. Two stand-up comics in New York City. Just learned a lot of this stuff. I'm going to ask all the stupid questions that you might be thinking at home, but are afraid to ask people. Making it to where you feel like you're too stupid to be able to ever engage in it, they win. Why the fuck are they doing this? <laughs> it's to make money. It's risque business news. Okay, so the mystery. <laughs> no, no. Let me relish in it. Let me sit in the mystery a little longer. Okay, I'm like not not even a sector of <laughs> this is. What could this be about? Okay, what? Okay, here's what. Uh, Trump's campaign has been hacked. Did you see this? Oh, I did see this. This was actually quite a mystery to me because they were real vague about it. Super vague. They were like, I was. They said I ran. They said I ran. They were like, I ran. I ran's on our stuff. And then they like released it. They had an official statement. It went on like all the different Twitter news sites. And yeah. then I heard no follow up, no follow up at all. So I guess there, I mean, I think I'm I'm gonna look this up real quick because I did. Matt said there was something about like a Project 2025, which awful naming. Yeah, awful name. Sounds like something out of Terrible. a um, a political thriller. Yeah, you know, I'm like yeah, it sounds ominous. It does. Yeah, but. He said there was some video related to that leaked online, but I don't know if that was related to this hack or not. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. I was like, wow, that's fucking nuts. And then nobody talked about it at all. So uh, more to come on that, I guess. Oh, wow. Pretty amazing, though, that they were able to hack it. Whoever did, I ran. I ran. Also, I ran, like, not known for hacking skills. I mean, I'm sure I they mean, have sure a lot teaming of up with Russia and they probably have a fair amount of like cyber experts there, but it's not like one of those countries where I'm like, maybe hacking, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Russia, <laughs> Russia, maybe hacking, Russia be hacking. There should be an Olympic hackathon. And then oh. whoever wins that they're like, this country's on fucking That's- pip. Yeah, this country, you don't get to come to this next year. You're out. You're on. <laughs> if you pip. win, you got to go. Um, they do have kind of a version of that at this, um, I almost called it a festival. <laughs> it's a conference. <laughs> it is an IT conference. Wow. <laughs> the IT conference festival, uh, Black Hat. Black it's Hat a rager. is, it's a rager. We've talked uh, about this on the pod before, I think, right? I think we yeah, have yeah. because. Yeah, it's the one that's in Vegas every year. And so, like, every IT professional you know just goes and gets blackout drunk for four or five Hell days. Oh, yeah. With me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go this year, um, and my liver thanks me. Mm. But at the end of it is another fest- conference called DEF CON. And DEF CON is for, like, the basement nerds. Like, there's, okay. like, the IT professionals who are, like, corporate girlies, you know, and working at their desk jobs and stuff. And then there's the ones who are living in basements okay and they get paid a shit ton of money to come in and just do their job and on whatever terms they want because no one no one has knows how to control them you know but they'll come in and they'll do these hackathons where they'll like pick a company to try to break into and like do what's called white hat white hat hacking um which is meant to allow you to expose security flaws with no intention of actually creating harm for an organization yeah yeah, and they like live stream it and stuff. It's fun. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, that could be something we could watch. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't is know. It I mean, I don't think they live. I don't know if we can like pop oh, onto okay, it. Maybe I, I don't know. I'd have to check right. it out. I went to it one year. It was pretty cool. Hmm. The whole thing. Interesting. You don't bring your phone. You have to like. Oh yeah, because people can leap. hack your phone, right? Yeah. If you bring it, they like try to get down to your phone. Yeah. Like that's their goal. Yeah. If you go on the Wi-Fi, they're like fucking idiot. This is your first DefCon. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Um, anyway, good luck to Trump and his campaign, I guess, on your cybersecurity, because holy shit. I mean, I'm 0% surprised that they fucked that up. You really? I no. I feel like I'm very surprised. No, it's, it's, if a determined attacker wants to get into your stuff, it's really, really hard. Really? To keep them out. Mm-hmm. Wow. And yeah, that's why, I mean, it's great industry. Yeah. A lot of money in it because it's, it's very difficult to run everything appropriately and like there's holes that come up just normal day-to-day patches and stuff like that yeah so the attackers will take advantage of that and get in there and then they don't even do stuff a lot of the times so they'll just hang out oh wow just watching you damn, know damn that's crazy mm-hmm. 
And so I'm, I'm honestly surprised it doesn't happen a little bit. It, it does happen a lot and we, we don't hear about it. I'm surprised we heard about this one. And then secondarily that they like pinpointed it to Iran specifically. Right. But it's the Trump campaign. It's not the White House. You know, they don't that's have. true. That's they true. don't have government resources behind it. Oh, as that's a good far point. as I'm yeah. aware. I don't think that that would be part of his like. No, he's not. He's not posting up with the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he gets a IT staff. Maybe, maybe he should, because frankly... He's obviously getting fucking B-list security, too. Yeah, literally. He's got the the, the, the C-squad all the over the C place. The C-squad. They're like, they're, yeah. he, he, they're like, we got hacked. They're emailing it to Iran. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an awful hack. Wow, that's so crazy. Iran just fucking... Came in and like made in. a Gmail account like on our domain. <laughs> Amazing. I could also see Trump being like, oh, I'm sick of putting in my... I'm doing a horrible Trump. I'm sick of like putting in my passwords and just being like, let's just make it trump 2024 um i anyone trying <laughs> to hack in i try that password i wouldn't be surprised Try like big boobs with like yes. zeros and <laughs> i miss biden yeah <laughs> biden is old that's his password <laughs> yeah. he sleepy miss, joe he, he really misses sleepy joe oh man. i listened to him and elon yesterday oh yeah i saw mm-hmm. that um elon's so funny he's like a billion people clicked on it and i'm like yeah because they crashed oh yeah it was down the first 40 minutes i heard so people i clicked on it probably 15 times myself right but yeah. um i needless to say a lot of people did watch it and um not a very eloquent bunch <laughs> nope not my favorite my favorite listen hmm. granted that's rich for me to be saying on a podcast everyone's like listen you should you're, you're not exactly great either and i get no, it we're awesome but I'm not trying to be president, okay? That's true. No, I, that is the last thing I would want to be, nor am I qualified for. Mm, yep, I mean, compared to who? You know? Uh, he did have a really funny part where he was like, I love Kim Jong un, like went to North <laughs> Korea, had the best time with him, saw things I can't even tell you guys about. You wouldn't believe it. I can't tell you about it. We're like, what? what? what did you do <laughs> in North Korea, man? This is a weird thing for you to flex on us about. Did, did you like kill someone there? What is happening? Yeah. So he was like, either he had a rager or did crime in North Korea. We don't know. It's like squid games are real. Squid games. We saw the live action version. <laughs> uh, speaking of squid I games. I feel like my Trump is getting better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. Don't get me wrong, but I was like, that's not bad. My Trump is horrible. Um, okay, <laughs> so Mr. Beast, speaking of Squid Games, he recently had a he Amazon did. show that was supposed to be like a live Squid Games kind of thing. Like with real people. With real people, yes. But we'll get into a little bit about that. But who the fuck is this Mr. Beast guy? So I am aging myself. Aging myself yeah. every fucking week on this podcast. And you know what? I knew of him as like a figure but i didn't know quite how large he was and all this shit so this this dude is um james jimmy he goes by donaldson that's his real name he's 26 years old jimmy donaldson <laughs> yeah and uh no wonder he <laughs> doesn't go by that on the no. pod mr beast he is the most subscribed youtube channel at 309 million wow. subscribers to put that into context for you guys um the united states of america our population is 333 million Oh my God, that's amazing. And I think he's the most subscribed to, and it's not even close. I don't even think it's close. Like, I think number no. two is, I don't I have the stats on it, but it's it's not even. No. In potentially, what, did you get the stats on how much money he makes? Um, I think it's somewhere between, I think it's somewhere around like 60 million or something a no, year. No, 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 it's more than that. Oh, really? Yeah, let me pull it up in the meantime. Okay. Um, and then he started his YouTube back in 2012, which is really cute. At just 13 years old. <laughs> Oh, baby. How nice. A little um, baby beast. He's also another one in our, we have like a thousand stories like this where they dropped out of college. People just cannot sit through college. $700 million a year. Oh, wow. I was way off. I was like, no, no, no. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> 700000000 Wow. Damn, that's amazing. Granted, a lot of that is like going, It's that's how much they make. And I think they put it back into the yeah, business. Yeah, they do. So- who knows what he actually takes home? Yeah. Um. But that's some. That's like a company. That's a big company, actually. Huge company. That's a really big company. It's maybe the most. I mean, because he does a lot of philanthrop- th- philanthropic work. Famously, I'm like he might be the most successful nonprofit, or he is for profit, but like most successful nonprofit for profit, nor nonprofit for profit ever. 
Maybe. Like, he's doing some really cool things, which we'll get into. Yeah. Um, at least on paper. It's kind of up for debate. Yeah, because he's got a little scandal. He's got a little scandal. Anyway, wow. um, on TikTok, he has three, 103 million subs, and he has 60 million followers on IG. Why the hell isn't, like, Kamala sitting down with him for an interview? <laughs> Um, she probably will. That's a big ass Dude, fucking her so- reach. Her social media team is not playing games. No, they are twenty two and they have it on lock. They're dude. they're very demure. They're very demure. <laughs> I've been upset. Very mindful. Very mindful. See how they post. Very modest. Very mindful. Very demure. <laughs> I love that guy or girl, um, but they are they are the <laughs> We'll go with they. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or my exact sense of humor. So funny. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm so sorry for you. There's these videos uh, that are very demure. They're very demure. You'll, on TikTok. You'll see. And I think Kamala, um, at least people have already made edits of Kamala being very demure. Oh, really? I didn't see oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I not s- I'll send it to you. Okay. I don't know if HQ has done it, but like people, she doesn't even need her own team because Gen Z is like, oh, we'll do it for you. Yeah. We got you, girl. Yeah, it's true. Any new trend, you're doing it. That's true. <laughs> Um, so one thing that's cute about him, so Mark l- actually watched him on Schultz's pod and he's like obsessed I with gotta watch that. You what? I have to watch that. That oh, sounds yeah. really interesting. Cause those two, the Schultz and Mr. Beast are like both geniuses. Totally. Um, and he was talking about like, he's, he basically would just sit in his room and study algorithms. He was like wicked obsessed with keeping attention. He's like obsessed with something called retention. Obviously that's how he gets so many views on his, uh, on his shit. But yeah. And basically, he kept like doing something on Schultz's pod where Schultz would be like trying to recall something, and he's like, "Oh, there's like some restaurant," and he's like, "Retention, retention." What? Is-? He's like, "He's like, oh my god, we're losing them. Look, oh, everyone's gonna lose them. Everyone's gonna fucking wow. tune out." Yeah. And so he's I'm gonna just start like, yelling at you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> retention. I'm like, I'll hit you. And I'm like, I still don't know yeah, what don't restaurant know. I'm trying helping. to do. Yeah, this is not helping. I'm at try all. collaborating. Um, another fun fact about Mr. Beast is that he is six five. Oh, I like that. So do with that information what you will. That's a good takeaway. That's a good note to put, to put in your <laughs> put that in your notebook, folks. Six oh, yeah. five. Six five. So this is a photo of him as a young man with his jerk off cream in the background. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> no, or you're one hundred percent true. There's, there's just a Vaseline in the background of this. This is photo. just <laughs> him clearly in his bedroom and the with <laughs> he's jerking off in this picture. We watched him jerk off. We're on yep. his OnlyFans. Yep. Anyway, look at him. He's just like a little guy there. He's just a little boy. He um, definitely cannot. And so, but point being, he's been after it for a long time. Yes, and he's and obsessed he's, with the algorithm and he's doing really well. Those videos. Really well. Those videos are not fucking around. Have you watched any of them yourself? I've seen some of them. Yes. Um, terrifying. Yeah. Like I watched one <laughs> on Twitter. It was like a embedded video in a twitter post so this is like the worst possible way to consume a video right it's the tiniest little box and i watched 25 minutes of this video because i couldn't look away he's retaining he's retaining you his retention is unbelievable and i was like almost examining like a meta examination of myself watching this video and i was like damn he's good at what he does that's amazing it was the one where they locked the people in that room together and they would win money if they stayed in for, I think it was a hundred days. Yes. Yes. And then they could like tempt them with food and shit. Right. right. <laughs> they were like, you want food? And they were like, we'd, we'd love some food. It's like the marshmallow test on fucking steroids. You know yeah. about that? Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 The one with kids. The one with kids and some of them eat it right away. And I'm like, God damn it. That would Idiot. be my son. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Enjoy. <laughs> be in the bat, like behind the mirror, just like fucking Vanny can't even do it. And I would just be scrolling on TikTok because I'm the same exact way. Well, um, what are you going to do? Okay, yeah. So he got he got famous for these crazy challenges. Like one time, he spent twenty four hours in a haunted house. Um, he gave away a private island to a random person. The scale of these it's so funny because twenty four hours in a haunted house that great. Yeah, but it's fine. I feel like after especially I don't know an hour, you'd be like, all right. I wouldn't be. I get no. scared. Yeah, yeah, but uh, no. But, but then, I mean, like, comparatively to some of the other ones, where I'm like, that's insane. Oh, totally. Giving away a private island, spending a hundred days. Yeah, you're you're missing family. Like, you're missing your life. Oh, 100 yeah. Hundred days. I'll do the twenty four hour one. Is the point? Oh, for sure. Um, he also attempted to eat a hundred thousand calories in a day. Obviously, failed at that. But it was. I think he was like barfing and pooping. Ugh. afterwards um he gave away a house to an unhoused individual 
Oh, that's nice. So that's very nice. I guess like all the bills were paid, furnished, all that shit. That's like extremely awesome. Um, yeah, that's very cool. He spent a week on a deserted island with no supplies. He donated $100,000 to homeless shelters. He also cleaned up the ocean in a very significant way. I don't have the actual stats on that. Whatever. He's, he's doing but he, but he, a lot okay. of good stuff. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, so it's actually funny. One of his biggest stunts that I came across when I was doing this research, I can't believe the world that I live in where this is, just doesn't come across like my desk. You know what I mean? Like I'm only 34. I'm not fucking 64. Yeah. And I don't see any of this shit. I don't see it either unless it's like randomly tweeted by people on my feed, in which case I'm going to watch everything. However, I think this is designed for people, not just in America. Yeah. And I think that's part of the appeal of it is it's very simple. Yeah. A lot of the times, like the concepts are easy to follow. It's, they're not, these aren't art pieces that have a ton of complexity to them. You are hundred days in the fucking house. Right. If I'm translating this into Bulgarian, those people can watch it as well. Yeah. And it's like that specific demographic of, you know, kids. Yeah. It's also kind of family friendly content. Yeah. For the yeah. most part, I think. It's right? like fear factor kind of, but like upgraded. Yeah. But then sometimes really nice. Yeah. I don't think any of them are inappropriate though, right? Mm, like don't drugs, so. sex, alcohol. Not not anything that rock I saw. Rock and roll. Anyway. None. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and use the whiteboard? Oh my God. We I forgot the whiteboard. Oh God about the whiteboard. Guys, we put it over here so you can actually see it now. It's yeah. Big. It's pretty good, right? Pretty what do you guys think? Um, Mr. So, wait, what was his real name? Jimmy Donaldson. I kept getting tripped up when I was doing research where people were like, hope Jimmy gets what he deserves. I was like, God, who the fuck is Jimmy now? Jimmy Donaldson. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend's name was Donald. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Not weird? Yes, it is. That's a terrible Especially name given to have now, now. Given yeah. right now. Like, that's really... I feel like Donald is go- going to go the way of like Adolf. Uh, how about this? He was like Do- Donald Sutton the fourth or something like that. Mm. He was the fourth v- version of it. Yeah, yeah V4. So- yeah, there's going to be another one. Or he's going to cut it off. He says, the name is now too unpopular. We're done. Yeah, it's like Karen, kind of. And it's like Donald is not the worst name. It's just yeah, like, it's, it's just every time. You just imagine your son being like Donald, like Donald Trump. You know what right, I mean? Like, right. And yeah. people being like, bah. yeah, thinking they're funny, making a joke. Right. Like the the name I have picked out, the thing that you would say is like a singer. People can live with that. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's great. That's great. Um, okay, so he also did this stunt, or he did this video about he cured blindness for 1,000 people that couldn't afford the surgery. Wow. kind of fucking awesome. I was laughing out loud at my desk. Laughing because Taylor Lorenz. Remember that bitch? Oh, my God. <laughs> what... What great take did she have? This woman comes in and she's like, by giving this surgery, you're implying that having a disability is something that needs to be fixed. And it's like, these people weren't like literally strapped down and forced to have the surgery. (laughs) He didn't find blind people who couldn't see him coming on the street, grab them, throw them in. (laughs) They probably filled out forms they probably went through a, a, a lot of effort in order to yes. get into this group absolutely like what the hell is she talking about ever if you're ever reading and if you're ever ever reading an article and you think huh some of this stuff is really salacious and seems extremely um opinionated and not fact-checked go ahead and search if it's taylor lorenz because check, it probably check the author is. on that she stinks on wheels. Um, she there was also another thing that he built a hundred wells in Africa to supply new uh, fresh water for African wells for a significant amount of people. Um, you know, you could probably see this coming. A lot of people called him a white savior for that, which is a classic. But I he mean, was okay, like, I just built it and whatever. You know what I mean? So like, if you're a white person, are you not allowed to do anything nice for? underprivileged people in other communities exactly and then also i saw this quote from a woman that was working over there and uh in some sort of like charity function and she goes a white man funds a bunch of these wells and all of a sudden he gets all the attention and i'm like okay so you admit you're in it for the attention <laughs> ah, i'm like what you just so did funny. is incriminate yourself what you're saying is the person doing this wants attention versus 
say, for example, water, water for these people. Because I'm like, the results are there's a hundred new wells that provide clean water. Clean water. That's the results. I don't really give a fuck about the attention or not attention that someone's getting for it. God forbid. I feel like that's a fair trade. (laughs) Yeah. Here's a little attention. You get a hundred wells. Right. The end. And you move on. Yeah. Right? I think so. I mean... I don't think that's actually what he... I mean, he was making it a content on a video, so whatever. Yeah. But even if it is, like, I don't know, isn't the net impact of the effective altruism of the whole thing, shouldn't you just be like, I would like the wells? Yes. And attention's not the worst thing in the world to happen. The worst thing in the world to happen is dying of thirst. Yes. Yes. (laughs) That's worse. Dying of thirst, dying of disease because you're bathing in unclean water because right. you, you can't access it. Like, what the hell are... People have lost the plot. They really have. In my opinion. And I, I mean, I get, like, you can even maybe just say, like, it's annoying a little bit if they're, like, being, like, real, like, I, you know, like, the mission kid, like, the people would go on mission trips and oh, they're, like... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, he's Where not it's over like, there taking photos with random babies. <laughs> yeah. Like, the um, um, philanthropy as a industry almost you know what i mean i get it there i feel like there's a nice term for it that i don't know philanthropy tourism mm, mm. that's also bad too because yeah. i think we talked about it on one of one of the episodes where they like bring their orphans out or like have people pretend to be orphans or god forbid you know um, yes, yes other things in order to like get an additional donations so. i also saw a documentary recently where a woman had very little li- very limited medical training and she was working in africa at like a medical facility for children with aids and like it was kind of unclear whether or not i think did we do an episode on this we might have i'm have amnesia i have I no don't memories think so and this doesn't sound familiar to me um so sh- that does not mean we didn't do an episode so- <laughs> <laughs> that so- means very little <laughs> effectively um it was kind of unclear of whether or not the children were passing away because, unfortunately, because of the AIDS or because of the horrible medical care because this woman was wildly unqualified. But either way, she put herself and the children in, like, oh, massive awful. amounts of danger for what, what seemed like, anyway, her own praise. So that was... That's... Um, it was a very interesting documentary. I'll have to remember the name of it and we'll put it in the notes. That is bad. It's bad. That's bad. Not saying people shouldn't help those children, but qualified people with medical degrees should help those children. They sure should. That's a novel idea. Um, so brave, man. So brave. <laughs> <laughs> I always come in here with the hottest takes. I know. I'm like, we're gonna get taken off of YouTube because my takes are too fucking. Doing strong. nice things for other people, good. Crazy. <laughs> so, Murdering kids, bad. Um. All right. So I'm gonna get into some of his scandals because so far you guys are probably thinking, what's the problem here? Um, yeah, this guy sounds great. He does sound great. So I will say before I get into any of them that there are some that are very serious, but a lot of the, like nothing is really like directly tied to him in my opinion. Okay. Um. It kind of sounds like some disgruntled old ex employees, specifically this one guy who we'll talk about. He lives in um Greenville. Yeah, or he's from Greenville. I think originally. he lives there because, um, if I'm correct on this, I didn't mean fact check me, but I think like a lot of people in the town work for mm-hmm. and have worked for, yeah, or have worked for it. So it's like, and it's not that big of a town, like kind of a small mm-hmm. town vibe, but yeah, you know, no, I get it with big town money behind it, yeah. So I guess like my point is, I think that the like. But there's just like the excitement around taking him down and he's not as good of a person as he says he is and stuff like that. I think it's just that. I think that if he was if he was portraying himself as a flawed individual, this wouldn't be catch so much fire. Right. But it's because he's Mr. Beast, he's this philanthropist, he's a really nice guy, da 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 da. That like one little thing comes out. There's big things too, but like some some stuff comes out and people are like, see, and then it's just like a takedown and a lot of shot and Freud going on. Mm. Where I think a I lot of people of, are angry. You know what's so funny is I kind of get it. Yeah. Because like even just watching his videos and seeing just some of the highlights over the last couple of years of like, what's this guy's deal? Yeah. Yeah. You know, part of me wants to be like, well, is he a creep? Like, what's up with him? Right. So like Epstein had a lot of fucking philanthropy. I'm not comparing him to Epstein. I'm just saying. <laughs> You can do charity and also be a shitty guy. Larry Nasser, same thing. He did right. a lot for charity. Right, 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 exactly. Um, and he just, the vibe, but then again, he was designing everything for AI. So I think that's inherently going to make him not seem as human. And true. do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was just like a little like, mm, you're a little creepy. I mean, I would, I would, 
but I don't have any reason. I would reasons. presume he also has severe autism, which is why he's so interested so in algorithm good at it. and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Fair so, enough. I mean, you know, as you do. Um, okay, so let's get into some of this tea, okay? Because you're probably like, what's going on? What all did right. he do? We're going to start here. This is a spicy one. So there is a woman that worked for him, past tense worked. He, she just got fired. Her name was Ava Chris Tyson. Okay. So she is a transgender woman. She transitioned. She looks great. She does. She looks beautiful. Um, she transitioned in 2023. Okay. And she was actually a childhood friend of Mr. Beast, which is really cute. Oh. And she started working with him. Well, like, work. they were 13. But, like, you know, doing stuff on the internet with him when they were... 13 in 2012 so she's been with him for a really long time um she was like a huge part of the, all the survival challenges i guess she was a boy scout okay. and was uh i don't know very good at survival stuff great so she was like extremely useful Big nature kid yeah and um she's like a little bit of a dork i think that's an appropriate thing to say so she loves cartoons childish shit stuff like great. that and she's also known for having a vulgar sense of humor gasp oh no that's Um, not funny at all so when she came out as transgender she divorced her wife and the two share a three-year-old child um i listened to this horrible podcast (laughs) 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 not ours one worse than ours it was called like conspiracy today or something like that oh great and some guy first of all kept referring to to her as him because he was being an asshole oh and then secondly what a great joke yeah right and then uh and it's also like just don't do that because anything you could say the most sensible thing i've ever heard after that and i'd already discredited you you know what i mean it's so stupid whatever unless i do it accidentally in which case keep listening to me yes absolutely (laughs) sorry (laughs) so sorry really trying no we we're we are trying here yes um it's good faith putting good faith into it yes but anyway he was like really shitting on her because she left the child and it's like people divorce in heterosexual relationships all the time oh and blaming it on the the transitioning yes and i was like okay relax like he was like Have you this heard is of the worst thing any person has ever done i was like this is that that's a trope for yeah. dads exactly it's literally a trope right I was men like, be leaving their kids men be leaving their kids yeah. men be selfish yeah many most i'm just joking but Mm -hmm. a lot i mean good guys no but like there's bad fathers and there's bad mothers too but not as often well no moms just stay and then they're crazy yeah moms stay and are crazy men are crazy and bounce and they leave and it's not great either way and then they don't even pay some cases they don't even pay yeah (laughs) it's crazy I have a wild story. Can't wait for your kid. I know. (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding, Matt. Marco, I think Mark's going to be a really good dad. Yeah. And we're wed, so he's not going anywhere. Exactly. Okay. Um, And I'm very excited for this other story now. Ooh. Podcast over. That's so (laughs) spicy. Yay. Um, Okay. (laughs) Anyway. Big surprise. Big fucking surprise to everyone. When she transitioned, she had a bunch of um, really shitty comments. People were saying, Oh, people like, were mean to her? That's peop- weird. That's so crazy. <laughs> people- like, oh, she's a woman. I'm going to fuck her up. <laughs> yeah. And like, as she was. Um, as she was transitioning, people were like, what the fuck is going on with Chris? That was. Oh, that must have been so hard. Because yeah. they were doing the videos. Yeah. And Damn, people were I kind of horrible. forget about the fact that like it's not overnight. <laughs> no, it's a long process. It yeah. takes a while, and if you're working for literal Mr. Beast, ooh, yikes, that must have been difficult. A lot of people, ironically, back then were like, "This is what's gonna take down Mr. Beast." Like, there's something like she's not right. She's gonna tarnish his reputation, and it's like, okay, whatever. So something really cool again that Mr. Beast did. He stood by her. He defended her, and he was like, "If you don't like her." then leave i don't know what it's okay i'm glad to hear that and also yeah. i mean i think that should be table stakes but on the flip side it's not a lot of yeah, people yeah you know as much as you should expect people to behave that way they don't all the time so i'm glad he did well also like you know this is somebody who's built something that's so insane and and a large swath of fans were saying one thing and so it, but like i like that he's still human enough to be like this is my childhood friend and they have feelings and i've been supportive of them through this entire right. transitional period which it can't be easy and you guys are fucking horrible and like it's just very like yeah the end simple to me so 
what but- happened with her. So she transitioned in 2023 back in July. So this, like a few weeks ago. Oh, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> she um, was accused of sending inappropriate messages and pressuring a former employee into sexual acts. I couldn't, I, for the life of me, I could not find the former employee okay. section of that. But um, so that, she, what the former employee. So the problem with this being that they were coworkers? No. She was criticized for developing a relationship with a minor. Oh, okay, that's not great. Online beginning when the person was 13 and she was 20. Yikes. Um yikes. So well, the, <laughs> that's not good. The controversy began after a video in June analyzing online interactions between Ava and the minor who goes by Lava G6 online gained traction on YouTube. Um Wait, there was videos of this happening? There was people discussing it on YouTube. I think it was mm-hmm. all in a Discord, a public Discord, by the way. So people are acting like it's one on one. It was a public Discord. So I could not find in a the public to- chat. She was sounds like kind of hitting on or whatever a thirteen year old. So in a public and she chat, was aware that this person was thirteen. Yes, Ooh. she was including so between in public posts between um, Ava and Lava G Six on X and on Discord referred to nude photos sex and hentai which is anime pornography which is the weirdest (laughs) if you're into hentai like you know do your thing no kink shaming here but huh it's just interesting so she was sending hentai publicly to a 13 year old yeah okay i'm struggling to follow her logic on this one (laughs) really really why why So it's kind of interesting. So she says, she put out a statement. She says, I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments. If it hurt or offended anybody, it was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best for me to permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media and focus on my family and mental health. Now, Lava G6, the minor in question, who is now 20, he rebuted the grooming claims on Monday on on X. And he was like, these videos are massive lies and they twist the truth. Ava did nothing wrong. Oh, wow. And just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. So that's straight from the minor. But then it's kind of it like, is- a, it's like a Tana Mongo or what Monjo, whatever her name is, um, situation that we talked about a few weeks ago where it's like, Oh, I got to write this kid down. What's his oh, name? Yeah. Lava G6. Lava G6. And then go ahead and put down Ava as well. So the thing is, is that, a lot of people are like, well, you were 13, so you don't get to decide whether or not you were groomed. But then he's like, but I'm telling you now, I don't have any trauma. And, and now this kid is of age. He's 20 now. And Ava's 28 now. Hmm. Hmm. And it was all public, and it was jokes, like joke formatty. That's what they're saying, yeah. It's, it's definitely not great. How about this? I've heard of worse situations. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So, but we can all agree, don't do that. And also, it's so egregious that she did this in public that I'm like, why? Yeah. She must genuinely not have been even worried about it. What? Why would you do that in public if you think that's what's happening? Do you know what I mean? But I'm not trying to, I don't know. This is a fucking tricky type subject. I'm just going to write tricky. (laughs) Okay. And then. (laughs) That's a tricky subject. The other thing that it reminded me of was, um. Oh, what's her name? Retention, retention. Retention, ah! retention, retention. Miranda Sings. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, Miranda yeah. Sings got in okay. trouble for a similar thing where she was um, messaging back and forth with fans. And I think like out of nowhere, she like, not out of nowhere, but there was, was just like escalating jokes and conversations. And she sent a, <laughs> I think a, a, like not a nude, but like all like she was in lingerie. <laughs> so uh, see, that is not good. <laughs> yeah. Miranda sings is not a tricky situation. And then she Miranda. did that ukulele apology. Did you ever watch that? Um, I just saw like screenshots from it. Oh my god! I actually watched the whole thing, and it was so funny because she was. It was really good. The I mean, it was like obviously hilarious and crazy. She's but like, well, like, maybe I'll get on America's Got Talent. <laughs> but she, it was like a good song and like whatever. And me and Mark were watching it, and we were like, "Wow, this is this is nice." And Mark goes, "He's like, maybe I should message her and be like, 
really great song you put out there and like feel so bad about everything that's happened and then we looked up what she was in trouble for and we're like oh my god thank god you didn't do that (laughs) thank god you didn't the lingerie to children it's not great there's just fucking screenshots of mark norman being like hey i'm there for you sister (laughs) keep it up lady more of that more of what that happened we were like, we're going to stay out of this one. I think this is a let her deal with it. Yeah. Let her deal with it situation. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's the kind of thing where I'm like, okay, well, your intent is pretty clear there. And it's, a, I would think those are private DMs, right? The lo- the lingerie that she was sending. Um, Yes. Actually, now that I'm remembering it, I, th- I believe she sent them lingerie in the mail. Okay. Either way, either way you slice that's it. Lingerie. Not, that's not good. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ava, this is trickier. It's tricky. And it's weird and it kind of felt like it also felt like obviously with the transphobia and stuff. And I'm not saying it just kind of felt like people were like really digging and they were like, what can we get her on? And I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying any of it's right. I'm just saying like usually when people get, for lack of a better term, taken down or or like character assassinated it's because they said something or did something and people like dig really deep into their past this was you know eight years ago and on a public forum like to your point i don't think that she thought she was doing anything wrong even though it is fucking weird now we don't have any examples of these messages i think that's going to be important for me to i you know what i'm reserving judgment until i if i ever see those messages because the you can tell the tone Mm -hmm. you know yeah it's true how about um, this? No more talking to thirteen year olds unless you're a teacher or a parent. I don't. I'm yeah, not, I'm not. No more. I don't. If you're thirteen, I don't want to fucking hear it. And the only like platform that you can is via your teaching website app. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> children are be seen, not heard. Yes. I don't want to hear from you. No way. Don't want to see your TikToks. I don't want to see any of that shit. None of it. None of it. <laughs> None of it. If you have a kid, when the kid comes out, I don't want to fucking talk to it. No. 18. That's when we can start talking. No. If it's like one of You know what? This policy is falling apart really quickly as I think about it. (laughs) (laughs) If it's literally like, oh, I don't know. Laura has to pick you up from school or whatever. I'll be like, Laura can't have your number. So good luck in finding him. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Better start calling her name, walking around. Yeah, because if you're going back to the fucking 90s, my guy. It's not happening. Laura is not to be trusted with your number. (laughs) I'll hold up a sign. <laughs> Come over here. Get in my van. Okay. What the fuck did Mr. B say about it? So he put out a statement. He says, over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online. I'm disgusted. That's and fair. opposed to such unacceptable acts, he wrote, during that time, I have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. Donaldson said he will await the investigation's findings before taking further action. Fair. Um, one thing. I see your point. I'm like, who the fuck is Donaldson? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Um, one thing is that I guess it was a public forum on Discord and he was in the Discord. So Mr. Beast like, was? Mr. Beast was. So everyone's like, he saw it. Duh. And I was like, well, in his defense, he's really fucking busy. There's a lot of group chat messages I miss. Absolutely. Yeah. Except not because I'm on my phone every fucking second and doing but absolutely nothing else But certainly on Discords and stuff like that, I'm sure he's not managing every element of his fan communication. Yeah. I guess I don't know what phase of their growth this was, but, you know, it sounds like they were doing pretty well relatively yeah. early. Oh, yeah. Good for them. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I, to his credit, I kind of think this is an appropriate response because, again, like I'm reserving judgment on this whole thing because we don't have all the details on it. But... It's a, um, if, if it ends up being more severe and he didn't have that reaction, awful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, what a messy situation. I know. Is this the drama though? This is the, this that, is what Mr. Beast is getting taken down that's for? That's like the biggest drama, which is kind of insane to me. But he didn't do anything. Exactly. He, it sounds like he did the right thing. Right. I'm telling you, people just, they have the shot in Freud. They want to take down a big person and he's, he's the ultimate so they're like, big game. You know, a person who did something bad. Yeah. And they're basically implying that he knew that she was doing this nefarious stuff. And it's like, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know okay. if it's that deep. Let's get into the next controversy. There, there are several. So uh, this next one, he was putting together 
uh production for an amazon show that's basically like the squid games but in real life oh yeah we briefly talked about this one i think yeah um so people were vying to win a five million dollar grand prize in the beast games is what they were called the contestants were allegedly deprived of food and medicine um he here's the here's yeah, the i thing. mean the squid games did you watch the right. show? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more than that so here here's the thing he acknowledged that he was like, yeah, there, there could be some improvement on communication and stuff like that. Um, I will. S- OK, this is all under the Amazon umbrella, though. So a lot of the liability falls under Amazon, not Mr. Beast. Also, a lot of the production. I mean, yeah. who knows how they broke it out? Like, did he just film the whole thing and then sell it to Amazon? You know, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, I don't think so. You think I- it was developed in com do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like a lot of the comedy specials, for instance, like will be totally done and then just sell it. And they're like, great. Right. Fucking right, right. Send it. I see what you're saying. Versus this. It sounds like it might have been more collaborative because in that case, it might not even be his production team. Right. Why am I writing for him so hard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't do a thing. In fact, he should have treated them worse. <laughs> it was also really funny. There was like some uh, Reddit I saw that was like, I was on the show and they only fed me like a little tiny granola and then they gave me a an egg and like some cheese or something and like a side salad and I was like okay that's like way bigger breakfast than I would ever have I know. when I'm not pregnant <laughs> okay fire fest yeah <laughs> skinny okay skinny <laughs> also like were was it like a food deprivation challenge or no, what was the that's the thing they just didn't have enough food they just had bad craft services I think they had bad craft services. Oh my god. That's the second scam. <laughs> Mr. Beast craft services was only two out of five stars, okay? <laughs> and then there was something else. I like couldn't get a good, good grasp on what was going on, but basically, um, you know when all the, the flights were down a few weeks ago because of crowd strike, yes. that was called. So it was filming during that time. This Really? Yeah, I guess there was like a new one that was filming there. Okay, that time. sure. Whatever. Um and they had to fill in some of the contestants with people that he knew because people just couldn't make it there on time. And people were like wicked mad about the fact that he knew people that were con- contestants. They were like, it's rigged. We told you. And it's like, it's television. It's television. Yes. It's ri- uh, here. Okay. What? I you know. think it's not rigged. Is it- That's another. Well, this is like scandal number a thousand or that um, his videos are rigged. Sometimes they're not random people or they're picked already. And it's like, well, it's a video for entertainment purposes. This right. isn't Las Vegas betting. Right. This isn't fucking United States gymnastics. No. This isn't the Olympics. It's not. It is a video for YouTube by a man named Mr. Beast. <laughs> no official rules. We're good. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, am I... Am I crazy? Are there rules that I need that we there's what? I don't think so. I mean, I mean, I guess it's like, what are the, um, so let's think about different contest types. Like I know like the cereal boxes, they are always forever having like contests and stuff. And it's like the no purchase necessary. Like there are some rules that apply, yes. but would those apply in a game show type setting like I this? I guess so. So there's a form, there's a former employee of Mr. Beast named dog pack 404 on YouTube. He's been putting out these crazy videos that both got 10 million views. Oh wait. Yeah. These are the ones, million views. This, these are the ones that are really long too, so right? So long. Like, almost like our podcast length. It's like crazy long. Yeah. I was going <laughs> to, listen to them and i was like no it's too long it's too long um he only has those two uploads up and i love how this one just says evil evil? and then the next one says fraud so (laughs) someone uh, someone's nda expired um he uh, yeah right he accused him of having illegal lotteries and staging content which, like, of course, a lot of it's staged. Like, it's, again, it's for I definitely purposes. would imagine the content is staged. I guess the lottery. Yeah, That's, the lottery like, where stuff. maybe it's an issue. So I looked into, I was like, what is an illegal lottery? And be specific, because I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, Starting from square one. It said to, this is what Google says, to avoid an illegal lottery and run a legal contest or, sweepsca- or sweepstakes, a company generally must eliminate one of the three lottery li- lottery elements, prize, consideration, and chance. For example, the lawful sweepstakes typically will involve um, a chance to win a prize, but doesn't require consideration to enter. I couldn't listen to you. 
<laughs> my eyes just like glazed over. I was like, uh huh. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what any of this means. Okay. It um, sounds so you need to. What does consideration mean in this context? Can you say it one more time? So this is it. To so avoid an illegal run, run illegal, a company generally must eliminate one of the three lottery elements, prize, consideration, and chance. A le- lawful sweepstakes will involve a chance to win a prize, but doesn't require consideration to enter. What the fuck are you saying? What are you saying? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. Um, But... Anyway, so this fucking guy was just like so ironic for me to say right now because I'm literally using this story to get clicks. (laughs) But I think this guy is just using the whole thing to get clicks. I think that he's kind of a... um, Purchase of a product or service. That's what's in consideration. Oh, okay. So you don't have to... Payment or extensive effort. To be fair, these people are... They they do be putting in extensive effort. That's true. Needed to participate in the promotion. Okay, that makes sense. But, okay. okay, so this guy, this dog pack 404, he um, was fired from working for Mr. Beast for erratic behavior. So that's something to consider. Oh, okay. And Oh, so he's going through it. He's and making some pretty good videos in the, pl- in the process <laughs> yeah. about fraud and evil. <laughs> he learned a lot. He learned he how sure to get people interested. He interviewed this comedian, Jake Webble, um, and this guy kept, he was allegedly a, a contestant on the show, and he kept droning on and on about the conditions. He was like, they kept the lights on, and I was like, I'm trying to sleep, and they were like, we have to do it for like, um, what do you call that, continuity purposes, and he was like, what continuity, and he was like, just yelling, at th- and I was like, I can't believe people are watching this and not realize. And then he kept being like, in my act, I talk about da da da. When I'm on stage, I talk about da da da. When I do like whatever. Oh, and so he's he kept, just trying to. He's just trying to get a little, little, a little boost. boost. And um, a little boost. Listen, it's hard out there. It's but hard I was on like, these streets. Watching this man, and I was like, how do people not see that he's just trying to leech onto this and get a little traction? What is happening? Yeah. Why that's nuts. are people so gullible? Anyway, um. So, yeah, people are like, oh, his fucking, the legitimacy of his videos aren't real. Like, he really wasn't on an island for a, a week. And it's like, yeah, and the people in Survivor also, if they fucking need medical attention, will get it. It's so. it's for TV. Yeah. It's for entertainment purposes. The Bachelor also, not really about finding love. No. Surprise. Sometimes they don't get married at the end. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the world. Wow. This is, I guess this is a problem, you know, when you're having little kids watch these videos. Yeah. They're like, it's real. And you're like, well, no, it's not. Santa's not real either. Right. Santa's not real. Tooth Fairy's not real. They're like, what? Reality television is scripted. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to get, so actually, this is funny. This fucking dog pack guy or whatever, he claimed that instead of awarding fans for the cash prize, he would sense, he would simply increase the time limit. I don't really understand what he's talking about. And another allegation, the individual accused the YouTube star of faking a lie detector test when he asked if he had ever faked a video. (laughs) Um, Again, who cares? I don't care. None of this is illegal. You are legally allowed to make, you know, movies aren't real either, dude. Yeah. Those are fake. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. So he also, uh, so I'm going to end on a banger. I'm going to end on a banger. This is the one I'm surprised. This one is getting less traction than the Ava one, um, maybe because Ava's so prominently featured. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. But um, this one is you maybe the they're you know yada yada bad bad whatever. But this one I was like okay, I can see a little bit of the hate. I can see some stuff. So apparently he hired a sex offender. Oh. Yeah. On purpose. So, uh. Yeah. We call those so strippers. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so, side note, That's I got this good. info from a Daily Beast article, and they chose... Oh, in collaboration, in collaboration with, with Mr. Beast. Beast. And they chose this photo of him where he has orange stuff in his teeth. That's was like, so <laughs> mean. Why would you do that? He definitely <laughs> fucked one of their people. Oh, for sure. Actually, I don't think he said sex. No. Well, he's a girlfriend. No. So nope. But he's not had sex. So, former employees uh, claim Mr. Beast knowingly hired a registered sex offender to work on his 54 it says 54 million dollar a year. That's why I, there I got that 700 million dollar oh, a year. Oh, got channel. it. Maybe that was overall? What I don't know. Um, the person wore a mask during videos to conceal their identity and co- apparently were called Delaware by staff according to the it New York Post. It was Biden. It was Biden. Um 
Wait, 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 wait. So, so this person came in and wore a mask the whole time and did what? So, um, I think he was just like, here, the, here's a video of them. I think it was like, he was just in one video where he was in an insane asylum. They're, I think they're all wearing masks in this. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a scary video. It is a scary video, but that's Delaware. So this is the sex offender. So allegedly. he's just dancing around. He's dancing around. They're in straight jackets. Looks like, you know what? Actually, not everyone in this video has a mask on. So that is kind of interesting. Okay. So, but point being, he's not doing any weird acts beyond the standard. <laughs> swear. Wearing a straight jacket in a <laughs> sane asylum, but like nothing weird. You know? Nothing weird. But so the sex offender's name... I guess I can say it, right? It's public knowledge. Yeah. Obviously, right. other people know this. Um, Charles uh, Robert Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Charles Robert Jefferson, um, otherwise known as Delaware, he was charged and pled guilty to the rape, grape, grape. Sorry, YouTube, of an 11 year old. At the time, sorry, he was, YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> at the time, he was 16 oh, years no. old. Oh no. Um, the 11 year old took him to court when she was 16 and he was 21. Okay. And did so he five serve time? Years after. No. So he avoided jail time when he agreed to a deal to register as a sex offender for like a certain number of years, basically. So the trial happened in 2010. The incident happened in 2004. Okay. Mm um, and they're working on expunging his records. So allegedly, Mr. Beast hired him knowing this. Um, and... And he was hired to be like an... An actor? Yeah, I was hired to be like a personality. An actor, a um, ideation guy. I don't really know. Okay. So it's very. That's not good. I mean, it's not good. Here's the thing that's kind of tough about that one. It's not good. You don't want to hire. R- r- <clears throat> rape is. Grape, sorry, is bad, obviously. I think in this case, I'm going to put that one to the side, but like people who were re- criminals. Yeah. Let's, let's pull a more moderate example. Like they stole or something like that. Um, once they serve their punishment, they sh- they should be able to kind of get back out there. There right? should be like a, there should be a redemption arc. Right. Like you sh- because, well, I mean, alternatively, what, what is he, what are they, what's the alternative option here? And is I, it to like, off yourself because are you he's not going to be able to work at a company so he's probably like oh i'll work in this like alternative industry right this guy is giving me a second chance you know it's tough like, and i understand i mean from mr b's perspective i'm like why did you take the risk yeah you know yeah like as a business person you're like well this was this was dumb yeah and the that specific one that there's obviously a few crimes where i'm like oh that's tough but in general, I think that there should be a way, like once, I don't know, ex-felons, ex-cons should be able to reintegrate into society if possible. If possible, yeah. I mean, maybe that's a naive way of looking at it, but I don't know. Yeah. Sue me. Naive. Yeah. These people are good. They can they can change. They can right? change. And when you're maybe. 16 years old, like... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's I don't, again, kind of like, need yeah. a lot more of the, yeah, that, that yeah. one's tough. It's tough. So Mr. Beast has now um, pledged to make staff and leadership changes, including hiring a chief of human resources officer, which what you didn't have. You one. didn't have one of those. This, so that, that's a red flag. That's yeah. not good. Chief financial officers and general counsel, along with other rules to add capacity to yeah, your company's making competencies that. to foster a better internal culture and continue as we continue to grow. Your company's making way too much money to not have those positions. Way too much money. Um, so anyway, he's also doing mandatory trainings on safety, sexual harassment, LGBTQ, diversity, sensitivity training, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So he is making some changes there, but people are really trying to take him down for hiring him. Again, it's another thing that I'm like, yeah, you know, he sh- probably shouldn't have taken on the liability there. However, it did, d- it's again another example of something that doesn't, it's not directly Mr. Beast. It's not like Mr. Beast was caught messaging 17 year olds or, mm. or doing these kind of things. So okay. it's, it's people around him. And again, like he probably has so many people working for him. It's difficult to be held accountable for the sins of everybody around you. Yeah. When you have a big team, I would right. imagine there's probably, couple hundred people prob- probably yeah i would guess 
That's difficult. Um, so a bunch of controversies. I mean, shit, if I look at all my friends, I'm like, oh. I know. <laughs> so as the controversies continue to pour out, some um, have suggested that his girlfriend, Thea Boosen, who is an influencer from South Africa, should leave Mr. Beast. Talk about sins of other people. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> on August 10th, a viewer commented, Why? commented on one of her I'm photos her that she should get away from the Beast as soon as you can. She's like, did you hear how much money he makes, you dumb shits? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so she replied, which sometimes I have the urge to reply to people, and this reminds me that I really should not. Oh, she's cute. So she replied stating, I appreciate the message. There is so much that is not being said. I wish I could talk more about the situation. Half the things they said are not true. I wouldn't be with him if they were. So obviously people are going half only half are true what about the other half and it's like guys it's just like a turn of phrase she probably really regrets saying it like that but probably does sounds like or there's a lot more information once again the things that we're we're claiming like i don't know she's like craft services was bad craft services sucked it was bad that was true craft services <laughs> and he brutal. apologized and i bitched him out the sleeping schedule with the bright lights was terrible yeah we won't do it again moving on <laughs> This also, is like, weird. This is weird because I keep seeing all this drama I around know. it where I'm like, whoa, but did Mr. Beast b- must have been ep- putting Epstein to shame. You know so what? So much press. And I, I'm like, there's not even, it's not even that bad. I mean, I was getting it's so, not great. I'm not saying it's great. You, you get it. I was getting pissed off. <laughs> pissed off. I've been getting pissed off quite often lately. That, that baby's an angry baby. Um, I was so angry because I was like, I feel like I'm doing such a bad job researching this because what is the drama? And Mark was like, you did a good job. Yeah. But Mark was like, Oh, cause the girl like talked to the young kid. And I'm like, I don't care that much to be honest. Like mm-hmm. I thought he was going to be like doing also, like a ditty shit. He didn't talk to the young kid. Right. You know? And it's not great. Obviously you want to have your, your circle be doing good stuff. Right. But Diddy beat the shit out of a famous singer on video yeah th- that was juicy that, that was, was juicy bad. that was like hey that Diddy was- himself sucks this is like hey this guy um has a really horrible hr strategy right the diddy stuff was wild because i was like oh diddy did a bad thing and i go oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> way worse it wasn't just bad it was like wildly bad no it was like literally the like worst story of ever yeah no yeah. he's a horrible person he deserves right mr jail Beast- forever you know, maybe just a little trusting with his friends. He's a little trusting with his friends. He's probably moving so fast. He's probably like, wait, what? Who did what? I don't like. Yeah. The algorithm said everything was fine. Yeah. Right. Retention. Retention. Um, so Damn. yeah, okay. I, I, I feel like it's just like an ultimate case of schadenfreude where people are piling on him, dog piling on him, if you will. Um, mm. because it feels good to take down someone who is extremely successful. I forgot to put him down. Dog. What the fuck is his name? Doggo. Doggo. Um, what the hell is his fucking name? This guy. Dog 60. Dog pack 404. Oops. Um, so yeah. Anyway. And then people are also saying, oh, like the film philanthropy was real but he like exploited the people to get views and it's like again like we were talking about it is sort of like welcome to the internet how do you think he's paying for this stuff there is a little bit of like an exchange there if i'm blind and they're like hey i can do this surgery you can't afford and you have to be in this video i would say wonderful what do they think about those like botched like those shows right right. same shit yeah you think they're doing them for for just to be nice no. I think that's a nice benefit, but it's not the primary driver. Yeah, they're doing them because they're like, your tits look weird, and we want to show everybody on this network. We would like everyone to look at how weird your tits are. We would like to see this Are in you detail. down? And they're like, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking down. Yeah, fine, yeah. Take a look at them. Yeah, they're crazy. They're crazy. Fix them. You want to film that too? They're like, yeah. Yes. Great. A win-win. That's what we call a win-win. Good. All right. Um, you guys, please like and subscribe to us. Speaking of which. We don't have any illegal this lotteries. This is not philanthropy at all. No, it's not. <laughs> we don't do any type of philanthropy whatsoever. Um, we just give you misinformation and that kind of stuff. So sound off in the comments. Tell me how mad you are at me. Um, yeah, please do. Please do. Uh, follow us at Risque Business News. Sub to our channel. 
Uh, it's send not it to your friends. It's not at three hundred nine million, if you can believe it. Um, so we'd like to soon, get there very soon. My name is May underscore Planert. My name is at Laura Sogar, and we will see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.